Different styles, different occasions, depending on what you want. So you can make looks. <laughs> Why are you not put pockets in there? Like girls need pockets. Hello, hello, gorgeous bubbers. How are you guys doing today? I have a new video for you guys today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why we're here. I have a new brand that I've discovered. Well, I don't want to say discovered because obviously I'm not Christopher Columbus. I ain't discovering shit. But um, I found a new brand that I want to share with you guys and I you know we can judge together if we think they're good or not or you know Missy Empire you guys have seen me rocking their stuff on my Venice trip I will be vlogging that shortly for you guys don't worry it's coming but I wanted to introduce you guys to this brand because I think they've got some good stuff but I also have some opinions you know opinions that we have to discuss but um we'll get into that a little bit later let me show you guys some of the stuff that I got from them so here it is you guys the good the bad the ugly everything is in here let's see what they gave me and you know whether or not it looks good okay so the first thing that I'm gonna try on is this dress you guys lost your minds on Instagram for this dress. I wore it in Venice and it is amazing. But let me tell you a little bit about this company. First of all, they only have small to medium and medium to large. And their medium to large only goes up to 10 to 12. They do not go any higher than that. So, medium to large, I think that's about the average size of a UK woman is about 10 to 12. Is it really a, a large though? Is it? Is it? From the kind of girls that I'm seeing wearing their clothes on Instagram though, it seems like there's a, there's a certain type of woman that they want to wear their clothes. I, I don't know if that's true or not, I'm just making my own speculation. But um, if you're not making clothes for, for bigger people, then I have to assume that that's the case, right? You're, you're missing out on a whole market of people who want to be fashionable. I'm, I'm just saying, like, pretty little thing, misguided ASOS, they all go up to all kinds of sizes. They have curve and everything, and you guys are like, I'm just saying, okay? But, you know, or maybe they just haven't expanded yet. They're still a young company, so let's see what they come up with. But all I know is this dress is fire! Fire people, it's you know I get excited about clothes. Let me just let me just put it on for you guys. This is what the first dress looks like on. It has a little string that you tie around the waist and has little loops in here. I don't like these because I feel like it sits a little too high and it should be about here. So if my boobs were smaller then it would probably fit a little bit lower but because I have big girls they it tends to go up a bit and if you put them right under your boobs and it rounds out your belly kind of makes you look like you you know you're wearing a maternity dress. So I still put the loops in. Pop them in here and it has a huge split in the middle going all the way up and I know you guys are thinking when's the last time you sang that song but yeah split in the middle okay final full stop no um yeah <laughs> and of course it has cleavage on show everything so this dress this dress it was really doing it I got a lot of compliments and I think I paid 40 pounds for it but it's on sale now if they still have it for 20 pounds I got one in blue I got one in black they have black blue pink yellow yeah they've got a lot of colors so if you want to grab yourself one then do so but this is medium to large yeah. next up is this white top it is so cute the material feels really good as well it doesn't feel like that spandexy nonsense it feels like real cotton which I think it is 100% cotton and the buttons look good as well they're wooden so I thought it would look really nice paired with these trousers and I wore this on holiday and I think I wore it with this bag and it just looked like a look the only thing I was missing was pockets if it had pockets it would have been amazing but it doesn't have any pockets so it's just like <laughs> why you not put pockets in there like girls need pockets you know but uh, I just had this bag and it was doing it. I also got these sunglasses from Missy Empire as well, I think. I think I did, yeah. And this was this was a look. This was a look in Venice, I'm telling you. But um, yeah, ultra chic. Another way to pair this is with a nice wrap around blouse. 
this I think is from I can't remember but uh look at that but I compare that again with another bag let's see let's see I love this bag because you could wear it as a purse or body bag or just a chain bag whatever you need it to be it will be okay Sarah Sarah whatever will be will be Prada is doing it for me I'm done Yes, yes, yes. I think it's uber sexy, ultra sophisticated, but really casual as well. Like you don't need to try too hard with this outfit. It just works and it's so comfortable. Let me see if I can step back and show you guys, but I'm sure I'll be out of focus now. Another thing that I do as well, in case I don't want to carry this bag as a clutch, it is a toiletry bag for a Louis Vuitton, but you can also wear it as like a clutch bag. Um, and if you add a chain to it, then you can wear it as a little chain bag too. Louis Prada, Prada Vuitton. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, easy. So um, I wanted to try the bicycle shorts trend and I don't know if I'm into it or not just yet, but I did try it out. And uh, I will say that if you do try the bicycle shorts trend, make sure you try the shorts get some shorts that are um, not see-through because I don't think I have to say any more than that. We are all used to seeing girls walking down the street with those black leggings that aren't really black and we can see all shades of underwear under there. You and Victoria did not keep that secret very well. Missy Empire, I think your bicycle shorts are a little too see-through for my liking. Uh, but I did try to kind of class it up with a jacket that I did get from Missy Empire as well And I think the look kind of worked um, for a casual runaround look I don't think I would ever wear it without a jacket. I just it just it needs a jacket or a big sweater or a jumper something you can't just go out with like this and this and think that you're I don't know unless you're Amber Rose or Kim Kardashian or you know unless you're enhanced or you go to the gym like every day which I am not doing right now then I don't think that that trend is um, for you well maybe not for me I don't know people who are brave can do it but me personally I just I just wouldn't wear it without a jacket or something with a jacket that goes all the way down it, it looks okay like I can manage this I can I can do a little something with this I wore this with an off-white belt and I got a lot of questions another thing as well is camel toe you have to be so careful with these shorts like the camel Oh, it's just too much oh, down there. It's too much sometimes. Just got it. So keep that in mind. Like I had to be constantly making sure that I pull down the tights. Another thing with the bicycle sorts trend that you have to watch out for if you are thick thighed. Okay, thick thighs save lives. But if you are thick thighed, then bicycle shorts that are too tight or too short may not be for you. I mean. I don't want the bicycle shorts to be up here and like squeezing my leg and, and no, it, it make sure it's, you know, there's, it's a lot of space, make sure there's a lot of space between your thigh and the tights and the shorts or whatever it is because you don't want to be spilling out like the Pillsbury Doughboy, it's just, nah. But anyway, I'll show you guys how to put on the belt. You guys know how to put on the belt normally. Make sure it's this side, the side that has no writing and put it underneath the belt, tuck it in, and then get this bit and pull it through this loop, and then you just wrap it underneath. Jacket. I'm hoping I'm in focus, you guys. I really don't know. So um, if it isn't in focus, I'm really sorry about that. I'm still trying to work out the studio, you know? I'm still trying to work things out. The first time that I'm filming in here in a long time. It's been about two and a half months or something since I filmed in here, so just bear with me. You can wear it different ways, like for example, wrap it around your neck. 
twist tilt and then you've got an off-white choker and an off-white belt okay different styles different occasions depending on what you want so you can make looks so I actually got this jacket from them to try with this outfit these bicycle short outfit but um I don't know I would just I wasn't feeling it I just felt like the jacket didn't have a lot of structure in it I didn't feel like this was the one that I wanted to wear it with so I just didn't go with it but I mean it's all right white isn't very slimming either so you know it's not very forgiving and Missy Empire you should put a button right here okay because this should be buttoned like this and then you have this button here I mean I know you're making affordable clothes but you don't need to skimp out that much I speak my mind it is what it is I'm not gonna so I guess you could wear it with a belt but again it's just a bit it's a bit there's too much material it's too big but I couldn't get a size I don't think I could get a size down because if I did get size down then I don't think the arms would fit very well it's all right it's cute ish I don't know what do you guys think of this this jacket what do you guys think of the bicycle trend? Bicycle shorts trend? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% sold, but it did look good with the way that I paired it. It's all right. Now comes the disappointment. Because I bought a few more things from Missy Empire that I was expecting to be like, fire! But, um, I think they are size challenged. A little bit, you know, as I said in the beginning, they, they don't they don't really look okay. I have thick thighs, okay? We all know this. My thighs, I talk about them all the time. They are thunder thighs. They they, they save lives, okay? And this is a whole KFC 16-piece bucket right here. This this one thigh, okay? So I don't know how like they could make the holes of the legs a little bigger. Like if you say this is a medium to large, then it should fit like a medium to large, okay? Because uh, I feel like an Oompa Loompa trying to get into an outfit. This would have been so fire if you got the size and right. I'm sure there's gonna be someone who's like, well, if you lost weight and it'll fit in, but that's not the point. If it's medium to large, it should fit like a medium to large, right? Not uh, eight to 10, small to medium. So if this is a medium to large and I fail to see what the small to medium would look like, I just don't want to know. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's way too tight in the thighs and the butt and everything. And because it's tight, it just makes everything look flat because it's not going in. See what I'm saying? Like, meow. there's no waste. It's not giving a waste because all the material is out. So, I mean, that's what the belt is for, but I can barely, like, go down in this. And, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on like this. First of all, I know, again, I know it's cheap clothing, Missy Empire, I know, but come on, you can at least, like, match up the squares. Like, what is this? Why is one square here and one square there? Like, for real. <sighs> anyway, moving on from that, why is this so low boobs are up here why are my boobs in my belly I'm trying not to code switch which I already do for you guys if you don't know what code switch is you better look it up but um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna like yeah this doesn't this doesn't doesn't fit the thighs doesn't go all the way up but it's loose on the bottom so I don't know, some of their trousers fit well, some of them don't. Like the, the brown ones were amazing. <laughs> but these, no. Nah. As you guys know, I usually choose to end my haul videos in my favorite outfit of the haul, and it has to be this dress. On the gondola in Venice, this was the best outfit that I could have worn. I got so many compliments, including Italian guys hollering, bellissima, bellissima, <laughs> it was so funny. But um, yeah, they, they don't they don't um, they don't hesitate to tell you how they feel, even if your boyfriend's right there. But anywho, um, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Which outfit was your favorite? And have you ever shopped at Missy Empire before? I know they're an Instagram brand. I know they're relatively new. There's a lot of these like Instagram brands popping up and you know making clothes. And I think Missy Empire might actually be giving 
pretty little thing and misguided a bit of a run for their money in terms of what they're producing but they're a little bit pricey in my opinion I, I just think I don't know I'm sure I could have got a dress like this from misguided maybe for a bit cheaper I'm not sure I don't know I've never seen anything like this particularly at misguided though so they might really be in competition with them but do let me know what you think and I'll chat to you guys in my next video